Okay, real quick video on how I finish these guys up. Um, this is sort of, I coil built it up. It's really quite soft and pliable right now. Um, so it's a really good time to sort of cut the spout, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, so this basically came about because I couldn't figure out how to pull a spout. And so I sort of researched, uh, oh, I got that a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, I researched pictures um, that, I just, when I was researching pictures, I found these beautiful Etruscan pictures. And so that's what this is kind of modeled after. Um, and I'm just sort of filling in the gap. I had a weird little gap here that I kind of didn't center up the bottom and had it really lopsided. So it's the last picture of the day, last object. Um, so I'm a little bit, a little frazzled. Just want to get this finished. But um, thought I'd make a little longer video of how I finished this. Um, I did one a little bit ago, and it just wasn't like it, the cutting the spout maybe not be that interesting. So anyways, okay. So just raven that in really quick. Okay, so basically what I want to do is kind of line up that back bottom area, make sure I have kind of a cent midline for the pitcher. And then I'm going to use a wire tool. And I'm sort of going to cut um, a high point here and sort of cut back. Um, I'll show you after I do it. And so I'm just using a taut uh, wire cutter, soft clay. And I'm just going to pull that. So you can kind of see I've got a good line here for the first part. And so this will be my high point right here and I'll cut away and down. Um, so one of the great ways of thing is about this kind of doing this is that you can, if you make a huge mistake, you can just recoil and that'll be, it'll be a much easier do. So it takes a little practice to sort of get your angles right. see so there's a profile of that and so if I don't like the profile I can recut I'm kind of liking this it's got a nice high point and I because I and I also love this sort of curve out here from the belly so it's very it's very bird like I always think it looks like a bird um, so now I've got these little slabs that I've rolled out this a little bit here okay so I just use a little pony roller I roll out some slat, little thin slabs, and this is basically how I kind of decorate and finish off this top edge. And this is just one solution. You can figure out another way. Um, it's something that I really like to do, and I've done for a long time for different objects. Um, but I really kind of want these torn edges. You can sort of see um, it just breaks up this line. Like so, if I just finish this like this, it, it's not doesn't really have a lot of energy or interest in that area so i'm just gonna score 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 gently mostly i don't want to tear through my these little ribbons kind of and then i'm going to score this area so i'm just using a little serrated rib and um, this is like the only time i ever use a serrated rib is for this okay and so a little bit of slip because all I want to do is really get it to sort of stick. So I just follow it around the edge and I gently kind of press it down. It's going to hang over the top edge. You can kind of see what's happening. Here we go. And so I sort of just pinch it on. I don't want to change the shape of my pot at all at this point. I really just want to get this attached but I don't want to lose all this sort of torn edge, right? So I just want to be real, real gentle. And it doesn't matter if it's not one piece, it's actually easier if it's broken up a little bit because then it will, I can sort of curve it around the form. So. And I really do make these relatively thin because I don't want to add a lot of weight or bulk to this form. So then, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do one more little curvy guy here. Ugh. Okay. It's 
It's always the fine details that sort of make up a pot. You know, it's like how you finish the edges, how you treat the form. Like, um, you'll be surprised when I sort of, I do have one more thing that I do, or well, actually that's not true. I have like three more things that I do. Okay, so last little edge here. I'm gonna go on this guy. Okay. So now I'm just gonna rib this down just a little bit, make sure that it's well attached, get rid of any kind of seam lines that I'm not really interested in. I don't wanna see any of that rib mark or that serrated rib mark either. I just wanna make sure that this is well attached to the wall. Boom, boom. Okay, let's see. So now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit on the inside. Make sure I've got a nice clean edge. Make sure reinforcing my shape, basically. Okay. Okay, so now, if I can show you, it's a little bit gentle, soft. It's kind of a jagged, yucky edge, right? So I need to cut that to make sure that I have a nice, clean, finished edge. And so again, I use my cheese cutter, and then I'm gonna use my hand against the wall here. I basically just, hold it right along the edge so I don't dip down and cut way into the form. It's just sort of a little bit of a guide. And I'm cutting at a really extreme bevel, okay? And I wanna cut down uh, basically past where that little attached skirt is in the corner of this edge, okay? So I basically wanna cut all the way to this point right here, so you guys can kinda of see in here. Like I want to make sure I cut that away because I don't want to see that kind of seam uh, when I have my finished edge here. Okay, and now I'm just going to cut the top and I leave this kind of high point uh, where I have my peak on this pitcher spout. Okay, so you guys can kind of see what happens there. Boom, boom. And so now what's going to happen is I basically just roll this edge over. So I want to gently use a little bit of water, take that super sharp edge that I just made, and roll it down. It's so quiet right now. It's been a quiet day here. But Okay, so, and I'm just going to roll that edge again really gently, kind of like I roll up the foot. I want to go round and round until I get it to curl over and not fold over, okay? And so then I have these really beautiful kind of high points, but a really r nice, soft, rounded kind of edge. Okay, and so the last thing I do, and this kind of really shapes the picture a bit, and it's just something that I like, um, and it sort of in this way is gonna create a channel. So, that I mean, that's one of the things you need to think about when you um, make a pitcher is that you want to have kind of thrust to push the liquid out and then a channel for it to go, right? And so I basically kind of take a, a bit of a, I just kind of look where my, the, the high point is here and then I follow that sort of down, match that. So then I have these little markers um, in the front, you can kind of see. And I'm just going to use my little green rib here, sort of is a great thing, and I'm going to kind of follow the form all the way up and kind of crease it. Okay. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit more ovoid. Can you kind of see how that happens, right? So this is without it, boom, with it, right? It really changes and gives the form a lot more dimension um, and a lot more like movement. I'm always after a lot of movement with my work and wanting these objects to kind of feel like they they dance away if you leave the room. And so this is one of those things that just gives it a little bit of kind of spirit. and also has a technical thing that helps for it to be a pitcher. So there you go. You can kind of see how that looks. And then what I'll do is I'll just adjust the spout a little bit. Because right, right here it's caving in a little bit. It's a little soft. But I'll just kind of curve this so I have a little bit of a more fluted kind of spout. So I don't want it to flare out. I just want it to hold up. And so that's also part of the reason this is really soft and malleable still that I can still sort of dent and shape it and give the, give it these channels. 
But then tomorrow, I'm just gonna put these guys under plastic tonight, and then tomorrow I'll put on a handle. So, boom, that only took 10 minutes, good, okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the feedback, and I'm glad that these videos are connecting. Um, and remember, I'm putting them up on my YouTube channel, so please go there, and, and you can see the full-length videos a little bit easier, and maybe play them along on the computer while you're in the studio or something. Anyways, okay guys, thanks so much. Have a great night, bye.